Hi everyone, this video is dedicated on how to install signatures that you've created with new old stamp for Mac email. So once you're logged in into a new old stamp website and you created the signature that you want to work with, you can see that under signature list and then you need to hover over the preview of the signature and there are a few new buttons that appear. The one that we need to click is use and then we're going to be redirected to the whole new page with all the installation instruction on the top left we can choose the email provider that we're going to work with and in our case that is mac mail here you can see all the steps of the installation to the left and to the right the actual signature preview and underneath copy signature button that we need to click and then we are ready to go to our mac mail application here on the top left we need to click mail and go to settings and we're automatically going to be in signature section to the left, we need to choose the account that we want to work with. And after that, we are ready to press little plus icon. We can choose the name of the signature. I'm pretty happy with this one. And to the right, you can see the main field. Here, we need to delete all the information which is already here. And very important to untick, always match my default message font underneath. Once it's done, we can use hotkey comment V and the signature is already here. Do not worry that it looks a bit glitched. That is the peculiarity of the preview for this particular email provider. After that, you can make sure that the settings meet your expectations and we can already close this window because we are ready to compose a new email and see that we already have the signature within our template. If you have a few signatures to the right, you can choose the signature that you want to choose or if something seems off for you, you can click on edit signature, make sure that you unticked always match my default message font. Also, there is an option of going to composing and double check message format needs to be rich text. In the end, I would also recommend go to your privacy settings and untick protect mail activity and block all remote content options. Once it's done, you're all set and I hope it was very easy to follow these instructions. In case you have any problems, feel free to contact our support team. They're always there. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.